Today I'm going to do some Valentine's nails in blue. So don't just think that Valentine's has to be reds and pinks. It can be whatever color you decide that it's going to be. So I'm going to show you some fun designs. Now when I'm doing dimensional work, I tend to not put my glitter right at my cuticle area so that you don't necessarily notice as it's growing out as much. Okay, that's just a personal thing I like to do. Um, if you like to put your color all the way back, that's totally fine too, whatever works for you. And I like to use a couple of different colors just to give it a little bit more dimension. If you only use one color, it's fine. You know, you don't have to use all the different colors, but two colors, three colors, again, just gives it a little bit more, a little more dimension, a little bit more, something to catch your eye a little bit more. Now, if you feel like your acrylic has started to set up and it's not adhering as well, go ahead and grab a little bit of that speed clear. Let it kind of flow and run onto that nail. And then you can pick up your glitters and press them down into that. I'm going to pick up a little bit of my speed clear. We're going to fill that in with that mylar. And this is going to still give you kind of that dimension. So it's not going to fill in with color, but it's just going to give you a little bit more sparkle and kind of an opal kind of a look and then just kind of pressing it down setting it into that wet acrylic all right when you feel like you've got your design how you want it then you're just going to cap that whole nail in speed clear i'm going to go ahead and file out this nail and then i'll show you some of the art for on top all right you guys so i've got our two nails all filed out so i've already put a coat of protein bond on our nails for our next step and i'm going to grab a form and also the paper from the form. So I'm gonna save that for just a little bit later. So I'm gonna put my tab on the back. I'm gonna pinch my form. Doesn't have to be perfect. I just want just a little bit of a curve to it. It's not gonna go onto an actual nail so I don't have to make sure that it's nice and tight. I just want a little bit of shape because I'm gonna sculpt our 3D designs on this form. So by having that little bit of curve to our form, those are gonna fit onto our finished nail nice and easily. So I'm gonna sculpt out some really cute hearts for Valentine's Day. And I'm gonna start by just picking up a little bit of um, liquid in our brush. I'm gonna pick up my pearl, give it a second or two to set, and then I'll drop it down onto my form. Okay, just kind of start by pressing out using more of the belly, the flat side of the brush. Kind of flatten that out. And then I'm gonna start to pull that down into a point. And we're gonna start to form our heart. So bring that down to a point and then we're going to press out kind of those corners almost making a triangle and then bringing those corners up i'm going to wipe my brush and roll it to a point kind of curve those corners in a little bit and then press down in the center to start creating that heart shape it's coming around my edges cleaning up and bringing that heart into shape now, if you feel like you want a little bit more 3D, a little bit more of a puffy kind of a heart, you can go ahead and pick up another pearl and add that on top. Sometimes I like to get the shape first and then I'll add a little bit more on top if I want to build up and make it a little bit more 3D. Again, you want to make sure that your product isn't flowing so much that it flows off the sides of this. So this one, I'm just going to set off to the side. We're going to let that one set up. I'm going to show you, you can also use the shiny side of the paper that the form comes on. Same thing, I just kind of give it a little bit of a curve and just kind of hold it with my fingers there. And then the same technique, I can come in and pick up my powder, give it just a couple of seconds. This powder in particular, I'm going to roll off my brush because this powder is based on a white acrylic powder. If you press that pearl onto the paper, you're gonna see a little bit of a marbleization. I'm gonna add a little more product on top. So again, if you don't like that marbleization, just add a little more product and usually that'll kind of smooth that out and you won't see it. But actually sometimes on this kind of design, I kind of like that marble. Just adds a little bit more dimension, a little bit more fun to the, to the nail. All right, I think I've got enough product on there now. So I am going to leave these off to the side and let them set. And then I'm gonna finish up our other design while these are set. Okay, now one quick little trick you can do if you're not able to continue holding this, if you're gonna work on something else, 
take another form or take that little center piece of your form. You can pinch the bottom of that paper together and then use that form and then it'll hold that in your curve. Okay, so you still have that little bit of a curve to our heart. Okay, I'll set that off to the side as well. Okay, so on our first nail here, I'm gonna do just a really quick little love, little love note on our nail here for you. So when I'm writing out words on the nail or sometimes even just different designs, I actually like to grab a piece of paper and write out what I'm gonna put onto the nail. Cause sometimes I need a little bit of an extra visual to help myself follow along. So I'm gonna write out, I'm gonna do a little L and I'm gonna do a heart for my O. So an O, B, E. I'm gonna be working with our black striping gel paint. I don't wanna smudge it up if I do have to maybe erase something on my next letter, if I don't like my next letter. I'm gonna freeze this first one in the light for a quick 10 to 30 seconds. Okay, let's come back with our O. And again, this is gonna be a little heart. So with my hearts, I start and I kind of do a little V shape and then around to create the, the rest of that heart. And again, I'm gonna freeze that. Okay, so now we can go on to our V, two little swoops, and then back into the light. Now, E's are kind of tricky because it is, again, that swoop. So again, I start with the little line and then I come around kind of as a C and then I'll connect the two. So I like how that's looking. I'm gonna pop that back in the light for again another 10 to 30 seconds. I'm gonna do just a little bit of an accent into the center of that heart. All right and again we're gonna set that into place. We're gonna move on to our next nail. So we've got our little hearts already created and I find using the tweezer is gonna be a really good thing to use because it's gonna help you place your designs right where you want them. Pick up a little pearl of our Speed Clear and set it down in there. Just kind of hold it for just a second or two, press it down so that it's down into that acrylic. And if any of that acrylic does squeeze out the sides, then you can just come in and just kind of clean that up. Same thing, we'll pick up another small pearl for our purple heart. That was gonna be up a little bit higher. Okay, so we're gonna let that set up. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and top coat our first nail here. So I'm just using our Ultimate Finish Top Coat. This is a really nice, easy top coat to use. It dries with no tacky surface. Um, nice high shine, but nothing that you have to wipe off. So this one will go in for 60 seconds. I'm gonna go ahead and top coat our second one. And on these, you can either top coat over your hearts or if you want more of kind of that matte finish, you can just top coat around them. If you need to, you can use a detail brush just to get up really, really close to them and just kind of tuck your top coat up to them. I tend to kind of like to have that little bit of dimension, so the matte and the shiny. Once we get our top coat on, again, this is gonna go into the light for another 60 second cure and then we'll be all set. Channel now. Subscribe channel now. Sub and subscribe and